Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about a new species of cockroach that was just discovered in Florida, but isn't from Florida. This is uh, what appears to be some sort of invasive pest, potentially, uh, and it's not entirely clear where this new cockroach has originated from. This is a cockroach in the Noctilocolids, which is a group that is poorly understood and probably most entomologists have never heard of it. It is a small collection, maybe 39, 40 species of primarily cave dwelling cockroaches and then like forest floor dwelling cockroaches, which are found in mostly Southeast Asia, parts of Australia and parts of Africa. And in Florida, a handful of them were collected under a rock out kind of in the middle of nowhere, and it's a very strange find. This article documents the attempts to go through the identification process for these noctocolids, and this was just published maybe three or four days ago. It's very, very new. And these are a very unique set of cockroaches. They're very small. They have many sort of kind of reduced body structures, so very, very reduced wings, kind of shrunken uh, abdomens, and it's not something that most entomologists would be familiar with. You can kind of tell that they're cockroaches, but there is something about them that looks very termite-like. And many of these species, I say many, there's not that many species, but some of these species of noctocolids actually live inside termite nests and are kind of symbiotic with the termites. The cockroaches that were discovered in Florida, however, appear to be free-living, and several of the samples of them were obtained, along with samples from another a number of museums and some pet traders and, I believe, a zoo. And these cockroaches underwent uh, genetic identification in order to figure out where this new species fit. And it turns out that this new species does seem to be related to some of the Malaysian or Vietnam species that were uh, tested. This cockroach appears to be a new species to science. It's been named Noctil Noctocola vagus, but it seems to be the first record of collection. Although this is the first record of collection in Florida, this is not thought to be its actual range. Like I said, this is a group of species which are primarily known from Southeast Asia and the surrounding area, and none have ever been collected in North America. One of the worrying aspects of this particular species is that they seem to be parthenogenic. Uh, so the females can functionally clone themselves. They go through this uh, modified reproductive system in which males are not required, and they can kind of self-fertilize their own eggs in order to reproduce very, very rapidly. So you end up with a species of cockroach that just reproduces kind of like aphids do, where one can become thousands very, very quickly. And this group is known to produce pests, particularly of greenhouses. So it's entirely possible that the Florida environment is perfectly suited for them being, you know, subtropical and that this species will flourish and become a pest, not only of uh, greenhouses, but also of people's homes. So you could, you could have a very out of control cockroach. If you think things like German cockroaches are bad, those reproduce in more normal ways. And this cockroach can really go through explosive growth comparatively. One of the other issues that isn't mentioned in this paper is that if these cockroaches were already found living in the wild quite readily in Florida, it means they've probably been there for a long period of time already and just no one noticed. Generally speaking with invasive species, by the time an invasive species is found, uh, it's usually been in the area between five and ten years. Uh, and it's just been waiting to get to a high enough population density or cause enough damage that someone actually notices it. So it's entirely possible this species is already very widespread in Florida and no one has noticed. Or it's possible that it has already moved to other parts of the Gulf Coast or maybe other parts of the Caribbean. We just don't know. One of the problems with cockroaches is that they're not considered a pest species by U.S. agricultural standards. So it's not uncommon for cockroaches to be in, you know, pal pallets that have been wrapped up or uh, shipping containers or flight containers, things like that. And so these can be transferred very easily through cargo. No one's really looking for them. No one's going to be actively trying to stop them like you would with, you know, some invasive beetles or things like that. 
Cockroaches, although they are considered an urban pest, they are considered, uh, as a group, fairly cosmopolitan, so no one really concerns themselves with the control of cockroaches outside of this sort of urban entomology issue. So who knows how far this species has already spread. Uh, now that we actually have a record of it, people can start looking, but this group is so poorly understood that it is not likely that most entomologists, when seeing this cockroach, would know it is part of this group. They might just assume it's some cockroach nymph from a more common group. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see how this kind of pans out. But uh, until then, I'll, t I'll see you guys later.